Without further ado, Robbie Carmack. This week we're going to make hats. It's the ornamental black. These are miniature hats. I've got a little miniature hat model here. Don't judge me. But. <laughs> <laughs> You got a weird shape, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Got a handful of these I can pass around. Let's start. Just pass these around. These are just different designs, different. Hold them in your hand, shapes, please. Different, different, different. Working well, on. I don't okay. have different shapes. It's got different sizes. I got. Thank you. So this is. This one's about an inch and a half. This one's, this one's two, and I got, you know, all the way up to, to three inches there. So, inch and a half to three inches circles. This is, this is out, of a, out of a barrel, a burn barrel or whatever, the lid to a 55-gallon to a drum. So, I forget what thing this is. It's, it's eighth inch, sixteenth. But... And then my, my you, you take them, you take them, first thing you do is you, you find the center of it. It's not a, you know, exact science, but you just kind of somewhat you center. And then you, then I got a, you know, a couple different size pipes here just welded on something. You, you, you want a, you want a good rim around it. So. <laughs> Say it's a good three eighths. You know, it could be more, it could be less. You know, it's, what, it's whatever. But think about blacksmith. It is. It, it's whatever you like. Whatever you want. You experiment with, with what works for you. Your pipe might not be the same as mine. So, <clears throat> then I got a bunch of different ball bearings. Just ordered off of, off of Amazon. You know, well, this, most of them are on rebar. You want you want the uh, you want some play in there. See this one's. This one's too tight. See how it just barely goes in there? It won't have any room for the metal to go in there. You gotta have room for the metal and the and the, and the ball bearing. So this one will make a good addition. You'll be able to get a deep, a deep head. A deep, a deep hat, I guess. Shut up for a fifth. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not an audience. I left it, right? <laughs> So uh, I use I use this little thing to find the center, kind of, and I just I go with the bigger ball here. I try to I try to center it up on there, and I try to give me just a just so I can find it after I heat it up. Just like a little indention because when everything's screaming hot, it's hard to it's hard to find that stuff. So I got one in the fire here already, hoping to get hot. This is my first time doing this in coal. I've done this on the induction forge and, and in the propane many a times, but as y'all know, I don't play in coal. Induction forges are nice, let me just tell you, especially in the summer months. <laughs> you can have something screaming hot and walk right over here to a fan. Any questions about what I went over? I didn't come up with this on my own. I, it was in the California Blacksmith Monthly Magazine. Um, I saw the little article. I found a lot of stuff in there. But, you know, saw the article, thought I wanted to do it, so I tried it a couple times. And Could you possibly use the swage block instead of your pipe? The the, uh, the swage block, the cups. I guess you could, but it would just cup it sideways. It wouldn't it wouldn't do down into like a cylinder. Uh, I was talking about like the the bowl, the half. Oh, right I guess if you had small enough, if you, yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever whatever you you want. We got this hot.
can't get but a couple licks on it before it gets cold, and you gotta you gotta heat it back up because it's thin metal and it it will rip just like this. Mm. Just, you gotta you gotta be patient with it. Huh? Yeah, I almost got a washer. Yeah. Try to do a different style every time I, I make them, and uh, I'm gonna do this one the bonnet style. I haven't done that one. It seems like it'd be the easiest one, so we'll do a different style too. I'm gonna do more than one. If you want me to, or you might just be bored with it and you want me to stop. <laughs> that's all right. Robert came to demo at, at our at our place, and that's all he did was make fun of me. Similar to what he was asking me about, uh, we can we can try. I don't have a, I don't have a hot tool, tool on there. Mike can do that. I think he would have to trim some off the side. Do I have a cutting plate? We could try it because that's what Andrew was wanting to know about. He wanted to hat like what he's wearing. So that would be a bonnet. watching a video earlier on the Black Bear Forge and he referred to it as ornamental blacksmith. That's basically what this is. It's just ornamental blacksmith. And you, for the others, you just grabbed some twisting plier. I mean, so uh, uh, I'll do I'll do one of those in a minute. I use this uh, this radius here, mm. uh, and you, you just kind of bend it over there. That's what this was for. And for the indent, you gotta take that indent out. Because we're gonna move back to the back of the, the head, I guess. It's a little too much fuel. Oh, you gotta make 
of challenge. Uh, yep, you need to make it sombrero. Okay. I got that's, a not, that's not even in this one. They don't even have a sombrero. I got a bigger one here, and I can use. I can put it on this one and use a smaller ball and make it draw out taller. Get it around all the edges on the outside. Get a floppy sombrero. No, sombreros have that cr curl up all the way around the outside edge. Maybe we're not making something. You might make a, a big straw hat. You want me to show you how to do it, Roddy? Huh? You want me to show you how to do it? Yeah. If you'd like to try one after the demo in the open forest, show me how to do it. Thanks, Gary, to learn. All right, so don't take long to get it hot. Find my little indention here. This is gonna be like one of those fishing baseball caps. <laughs> Big bills. Well, if you want it to, if you want it to uh, roll down further, all you got to do is just keep sinking it, right? Until it like folds all the way over. Maybe until, until you run out of metal, you don't got much metal to stretch. So, so that seems to work just as good as the uh, iron. Will these are pretty welcome guy too. Yeah. But the uh, the, uh, the shipping is not nearly as much as as an iron mountain. That's where they get you on the iron mountain. Fifteen dollars shipping on the wall. The front blacksmith steeple. Yeah. Basically anywhere else it fits a lot of them. But the bottle itself is pretty much the same price. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like thirty four dollars. Thirty four dollars. That's what the. Other stuff is 34 to 40. That's what shit we can do. Huh? I thought that was what shit we can do. God gave us two hands. So I'm just flattening the brim out here. So we got a, we got what's 
what's starting to look like a baseball hat going. Yeah, he's getting that. So we got the dome there, I guess. He's up. Now we'll take, we'll take the chisels, cut that off. I guess if you if you figured it out and flattened it back out, maybe you could cut you a blank. The, the right way, but I'm that out What? I tried that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> so, see, cut there. Hmm. You can just make your line hold. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I want. Here, that help? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Where's your model? Thanks, Doug. Anything to help, buddy. Let's hold See, it up. That's, that's where it's important to have a bunch of different sizes, you know. <laughs> that and I have ADD real bad and think I have to have all the tools. At least, I, at least I started making them instead of buying them. That's when you know you've arrived. <laughs> All right, so let's. I don't do good freehanding, so let's sketch a little bit. Still gonna be a long build cap, but and this is a one of those silver welding pencils. It's just a mechanical one, but if you if you don't have those around the shop, you, you need to get them because these right here, you can you can write on hot metal. You can see your line when it's hot. When it's screaming hot, you can't see it, but as it cools off, you can see the shadow line of it. It, it, it makes it makes laying out. Huh? It won't burn off. Yeah, it won't burn off. It makes the layout and, and, and stuff, it makes makes it all a lot easier. And we're all about easy. and I brought a file. Well, last time I tried to use something mechanical in my demo, you got mad at me. another minute or two forging to finish and save yourself so much time in the in the in the finishing later. I used to be I used to be, you know, I guess, you know, make a dozen of these and then I'll finish them later. If you finish them as you go, you're done with them. You don't have to come back. Is 
know what you were getting at the store this morning? Yeah. So they got good sandwiches in there? Yes, sir. I need to stop there. Next they don't time. have ready made. They'll make them for you as you ask for Okay. How long does it take to make them? How long? Nobody was going to have the forge open in this morning. Should have stopped. I was wondering if we were going to be able to get here for high water. <laughs> Does everybody understand the uh, the cutting plate and what its purpose is for? If you want to be, if you want to be a productive blacksmith, there's always something to make. Always. I say now you got to bend the brim. No, this is gonna be one of those douchebag plates. <laughs> I don't wear ball caps, so there you go. Well, it looks like when you got on. You want to make sure it's yours, Bill? Okay. Yeah. I wear them when we need my own right on each other. He said I can go on and get the next one. So let's try, let's try a smaller one. Let's do a cowboy hat. Screaming in there, right? I keep pine tar around in the shop. You can get it from a uh, from a um, carrier shop or off of Amazon. It's just a little can. All right, so we we're gonna make a small one like this, miniature. So he don't even he don't even fit on. But that was sitting up on the shelf. That's one of those first things you, you, you did and you kind of save it as a, as a memorial of, man, I suck. <laughs> That's what that is. But it worked for a hat demo, or a hat. Kind of looks like elephant man. <laughs> it's art, you can interpret it any, any way you want. <laughs> That's abstract art right there. I'm abstract. <laughs> Didn't say. <laughs> so, so you get it, you get it somewhat centered. You know, if you get off, you know, it's it's, it's blacksmith art. So, that's what happened on on this pirate hat. I got off, and I had a lot more brim on one side than the other, so I folded it up and. 
and you know sometimes the uh, the metal speaks to you you start out as a cowboy hat and and you, you end up you know this one might be better to cut off for a baseball cap you know Really not a pirate challenge. Yeah. Only with crop. Corn. I mean, in my mind, why give money to talk to people about pirates instead of corn? He's just not a true patriot. Because my wife likes Johnny Depp and we watched all the stupid pirate movies, so. I mean, what do you mean, library? I don't know. <laughs> And that other one, you got that long one that's folded up on the side. Yeah. That's a, a regular tap. Okay. Oh, it's colonial air. Okay. So. You say so. Well, I'm telling you what it is. You're late to the show. That's fine. We're, we're making hats. Well, yeah. So you do a track shot to the park in the house. Well, he didn't even clean them up. Let me put this a little heat in there. Can't find my tones. I thought I'd shorten the bill for you, but I said no, he wanted a long one, so I wanted a long one. All right, well, I, I won't do this while I'm hot here. So I got just a little bit off. I'm gonna try to use a bigger ball to walk it over. Like I said earlier, this is where you gotta be careful because you'll split that metal. This is just, like I said, reclaimed uh, 55 gallon drum box, you know, with the top of it. Built in the zip these out with my plasma coater. Not everybody has that. You know, mini grinder will work. Just find random things around the shop and trace you know, different sizes. Imagine you could use some, if you had some hole bits that big,
getting there. But we need to go a little bit more taller than, than we think because we're going to indent it back down and do a little detail work on the, on the hat there. You're 30 minutes in. be Gen Z over here like uh, you're gonna have Rob be your co-management and you'd be like uber heats I'm sure he'll have several there at Quad State. Yeah. He usually brings a whole pickup load. He messages me like every every couple weeks. It's just bullshit. What when I got back from uh from uh the Southern thing, Blacksmith Association or whatever, he didn't have a shirt in my size. When I got home, he asked for my address and sent me two. He's a pretty decent guy. He's a real decent guy. He can't stand Charles from Atlas Animals, though. That's because he, nobody likes his product. Look, I got this little little knife maker's anvil that I won, and it's okay. I use it under my trail hammer. It's a decent anvil. It's got good hey, rebound. You, just, you do the same as Roy does. <laughs> He's, He's got a different anvil in there, doesn't he? No, he put he. That's the one he uses for underneath the treadle hammer. Game. Oh, well, it's small. It works good. And then, and then if I if I need to move it over just a little bit, I can use a hardy on it. He was using one of his child's over there, and then he when he got the atlas, he's like, well, I'll just use this over there, and I'll start making all my tooling. And yeah, that's a one inch hardy. It's nice. He is making one. So he had the one with the horn that had the swage block and everything, just real awkward. But so he's re he redesigned that and actually put a horn on it. Yeah. Well, I don't like the one that has a swage block on the bottom. Yeah. It's it's not useful because... If, if you're wondering what we're talking about, Atlas Angles, um, they have 
it's small animals there. They're they're cheaper than the than the than the Hollands and stuff, but they're also cast and chopped. We've got some funny looking animals. Okay, so we might have it deep enough, so we're gonna come to the edge here and we're gonna we should have cleaned off our shelf first. Clean animals when you're working. But we're just gonna flatten this edge around here. See how bad we got off center. So depending on, on how angle you want to do, you could trim I guess. I would suggest getting a round chisel instead of a flat one. But I'll walk around and show you. We're off a little bit. Yeah. And you can stop right there and make that little hat. So you can sharpen see, edge. Yeah, you can see how we're off just a little bit, but it's an Indian so, Joe hat right now. Huh? It's either an Indian Joe hat or a Spanish Padre hat right now. Yeah, no, All right, I can be missionary done. Is, is, is that what you're telling me? I'm yeah, done? you could be. Well, I'm not making another one, so this is your last one. Andrew wants to see me bend one, so I'm going to clean off a little bit. That way we have at least a little bit of everything in the video. Yeah, still, got a, still got a clean up baseball hat. Uh, mm, sorry. All right, so I'm going to put the short end to the front, maybe. That's, that's where I'm deciding. I'm, I'm the driver of this, so I decide what's what's going on. You're the artiste? Yeah, whatever you want to call me. <coughs> I'm, I'm the El Jefe. My wife ain't here to tell me different. <laughs> the head honcho chief in command. As long as she's not around. I should have flattened this out so I could get it taller, but you know, once once it works, I mean, why, why modify it? Okay, if you wanted the bowl of the hat to be taller, would, uh, you, or would you start with a larger piece of steel than normal? I think you would start with a larger piece of steel, and you might start with the bigger ball first, mm -hmm. and then in the smaller ball, or it might be vice versa, I don't know. I start with the smaller one first, and then stretch it out. And then, and then you might need to go, you might need to step to a different height. You know? I don't have all the answers. I just, I just read an article and decided I like to do it. And they're pretty easy, they're pretty fun, they're, they're simple. You can put them for keychains. Uh, Pulls for a ceiling fan, uh, dangles on a on light, you know, whatever. They're just yeah. If you got if you got granddaughters that play with Barbies and stuff, you know, say <laughs> GI Joes, but yeah. So. You stop right there. You got Crocodile Dundee Ken. Bend the other side the other way. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> I think I was supposed to do the details on the, on the hat first. So we're going to bend one side and now we're going to fuller the, the hat. That's what I was supposed to do. I have just a just a, a mm. fuller here, and I'm just putting a line right down the middle, or off to the side because I missed. I'm gonna have a butt crease <laughs> at the top.
That fuller right there is made out of the, uh, the sucker rod that's right in there. Robert teaches a class on advanced, on advanced chisel making. That's where I learned how to do those. If you haven't taken it, maybe he'll teach it soon. Or you can just ask him one night on the, on the open forge if he's up here. So I've got it in the top. I'm going to flatten that round back out if I can't get it. You lose your heat so fast. See, if you're working in propane, you can have just a couple of them sitting in there. You turn your forge down low because it don't take much heat to heat them up. Put a couple of them in there and you just work them. Got that. See how that kind of just brought that, that, that bubble in a little bit? Top on this side, it's just a work in progress. It kind of just dropped it in just a little bit. Nobody's got a, nobody's got a cowboy hat on to look at. No. You gotta be careful not to get it too hot because it's so thin that once it burns, it's it's gone. It ain't no brush it off real fast and let it cool down. I guess to make the sombrero, you could just you could just pull it on all four sides there and it'll, it'll roll it up a little bit. I have an idea. I'll show you here when you're finished. I'm not burying this, you know, like you know, a big piece of metal, you bury it deep in the coals and let it get hot. I'm just setting right on top.
I did make a batch of these and throw them in the vibrating tumbler to clean them up though. Because it, it's kind of hard to, to brush in all them little areas. Have you turned the side of the barrel? <clears throat> I have not, but it should be the same. Mm. Well, that's about all I'm going to do. He's going to wire wheel that one. Is there any questions? I got some blanks up here. I, I can, can have a couple blanks if somebody wants to try. I'm going to leave my tool in here for a little while. We're going to go eat, I'm sure. And come back by and get it if somebody wants to try one. Anybody got any questions about any of the tooling? Can you explain anything? Well, yeah, I do. Okay. You know I'm not thinking on you. No, it's fine. When you cut your barrel top and you cut it in a square across it and then make your circle and cut your circle out of the square, or are you just cutting circles? I'm just cutting circles, so I'm using a plasma cutter. Okay. I cut the lid, the top of my barrels out with a hatchet. I hatch it around the edge and then I just got that thing and I, I kind of flatten it out a little bit and I just... Okay, if somebody did not have a plasma cutter, um, what would be the best way to get a circle out of a hole saw? A hole saw, but you would have to, you would have to make you a, a jig first to, to for the hole saw because if you just try to put it on there, it's going to walk everywhere. Right. Um, there's, you got the hole saw option. Um, it's thin enough. You might take a pair of snips, but you don't want the you don't want the hole in the middle. Of it. So you got to take the pallet bit out. That's why you got to make the, the the wood thing clamp it down there. I tried that, but it's it's hard to cut them circles. Um, you can do it in a bandsaw. I was gonna say, yeah, I, think I could do it on I could do it on bandsaw. Middle cutting jigsaw blade. Yeah. I would think if you were using like an angle grinder with a cutout wheel. Yeah. So it'd be easier to just start it with a, a square blank and just round it off from there. I don't know if this is thin enough to use one of them nibblers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's like just barely thin enough. Yeah. You might could use one of those nibblers and just, you know nibble one out. Uh, you could cut the squares and, and, then, and then cut the corners. And, I mean, you, you could whittle it down. Yeah, yeah but yeah. People would hang them under walls. Okay. Beverly shear. Yeah, mm -hmm. a shear. 
or uh, draw you out of one of them and bring it over and I, I cut them out in 10 minutes. I mean, it's literally, then you got to take them to the sander and get the, get the, the, the burn. Yeah. And, I, and I've learned to dial it in a little bit better. I used to have about this much slag on the back, but now it's got just a, a little line of slag. I had to turn the power down and the air down. Yes. Yes. It gets adjusted for thickness. Yeah. Well, when you don't know what the hell you're doing, you just run everything wide open. What are you using to weld those ball bearings? Uh, just a flux core welder. Uh, just, a, just a flux core welder. I, I heat the ball bearing up first and then just weld it. Welding, get that. Welding. Uh, look, I am no welder. I am a, I am a, a, a wire burner. I turn it up to about 200 and about 20 volts, and I just burn the shit out of it. But I do get the ball bearing uh, temper colors first, at least. Yeah, if you're if you're um, you get ball bearings, you order ball bearings, heat it up to at least a blue. First, so you anneal it back. Some take the heart, the brittleness out of it. And if you weld it while it's still hot, weld the handle on it while it's still hot, it helps too. Yeah. And then it won't, it won't crack off on you. Did y'all know these yellow balls of propane, the, the map gas, is only like 100 degrees hotter now? Because they quit making map gas, and then we have map gas pro, and it doesn't burn as hotter. It's only it's only like a hundred degrees difference between that and the propane, but it's it's twice the price. Huh? Need a little sticker to put on the bill now. Yeah. Well, it's not flat, so well, it's got my touch mark on it, so that's like the sticker. All right, and that's my demo.